on the TV. <laughs> what would you like to know then? Right, Ask Mr. Kramer. In Australia. What's the weather like now out in Australia? Um, June. Well, Christmas time it's say uh, summer, so it's the middle of winter now. Eh? Uh, well, yeah. 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 I should think all the kangaroos have migrated, wouldn't you? I think they dig holes in the ground and they they? hibernate, don't they? Everything out there does in the winter. Mm. Well, I think we're actually talking to two very ignorant people who know very little about oh, Australia. Oh, we're much travelled. Yes, we... Yes, we're much worn out too. Doug's been to Australia. I've been to Australia. I've been to Bermuda. I've Isle of White. I've been to Bermuda. Isle of Sheppey. I've been to the Isle of Sheppey. Isle of Man. And I've been to Australia, Scotland, <laughs> Wales. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, excitement oh, over in the far corner. I think Maureen oh. has just lost the first game. No, lost the first one. Oh, I, did it last two. Two. Oh, I, I see. One, Very fascinating. Yeah. It's yeah. called yeah. Connect yeah. Four. Oh, excuse yeah. me. We do seem to have the <laughs> men trying to rule the roost in the Kramer family, but Pat, you'll realise it doesn't really work, won't you? Well, Here we are, know. back again. Here we are. The important part of the film now. <laughs> now, now, what we're, we're trying to do with this video... Yes. We're, we're spending the day at Doug's, Doug and Maureen's, first of all. And then, surprise, surprise, we're going home. We're going to play uppers before you go home. And we're, we're, we're going to play uppers. We do a bit on the video from our home. And I'm hoping then that we might be able to go down and see Jeff and Barbara. That's all today, mind you. From uh, Bristol. Take no uh, notice of Next them. weekend. Oh. I've got to go to work on Tuesday. And also, we might even get the aunts on here. Auntie Ivy and Uncle Bert. We save Uncle Bert for last. And Auntie Ivy. And, uh, oh, I've got it, look. Oh. Oh, that will do. Oh, I don't yeah. know anything about anything else. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you see that? That was another one of his back well, it's awful when the person who's pointing the camera is. Don't you think that when Dad yeah. turns to his. Right. on his right side. <laughs> Then in fact he looks a bit like um, of one of Alf not Alf Garnet. <laughs> no, not the right. I'm not talking about your derriere, Douglas. It's your derriere. Oh, oh look! Oh, isn't that a picture? Oh, My goodness! Yeah. <laughs> They're watching TV, seeing what they look like. <laughs> Oh, what a couple of loonies they are. I can't see my face. I can see my well, because your stomach is too big, that's <laughs> why. Now, I was saying before we were so rudely interrupted that Do another back now and again oh. when... Um, <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> when hey, when Doug turns to the now. side, he looks like one of these very famous film stars and I can't think of his name. Sunshine. Not upstairs. Robert Redford. Um... I know who you're trying to think of. He was on last night. He looked like him. Who was that, mine? Not like that. Oh, we're vaulting. We won't put him on the screen anymore. Oh, here comes Paul into the... Oh, he's the ugly one in the family. Yeah, on the screen already. Actually, he does look very much yeah. on the TV like um, Prince Andrew, doesn't he? Oh, no. Except the bushy eye Oh, well, we haven't got that Hello. close, have we? Oh, no, no, I had one. Is this recorded as well? I yeah, yes. one there, one there. That's amazing, how did you work that one out there? Oh, it's very clever stuff. Yeah, you don't have to coming out that way, just right there. He's trying to fiddle me about, is our Paul. He's a nice young man, really, but if you got close, you'd find out that he hasn't shaved today. He smells a bit, that's the only That's why we don't sit close to him on the settee. As you notice, there's a gap there and a gap behind him. He's got a roll of joint, okay? 
Yeah. Oh, I've got to look at the camera. Yeah. Roll the joint. It's confusing, isn't it? You look at yourself. Yeah. There we are. Doug's scoffing again. <laughs> we tried to get some intelligent conversation Hello. into this camera videoing, oh, but I'm afraid it is very difficult. And so you might be rather bored with this. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hello, Rodney. Hello, How are you, Dad? How are you, boy? I'm fine, thank you, Rodney. You're obviously decent, isn't it? Coming up for a game of polo. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. Well, I think we'd better just leave these stupid pair and we'll meet you again. Hello. This is taken from Auntie Edie's house. Up, 19. Huh? Wave to me, Auntie way. Edie. Have you got the camera? Uh, hello, over here. Oh, hello. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is 19 Orchard Close, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Orchard, yes, in, in Ramsgate. There we are. How long have you lived here, Auntie? And this is his door. Yes. Oh, right. Hello. 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 So how long have you been here then, Auntie Eid? Ooh, 17 years. Really? Oh, mm. Really? Yeah, that's the view out through to the kitchen. I suppose because you can't see it from there, can you? No, it's not very bright. The television turned me out, you? Well, it's okay. You can see the picture. There we are. There's Alan. Hello. Hello. Yes, I'm afraid that it's getting a bit red. It's good, close. isn't it? There. I'll keep this up myself yeah. on the telly. Is that good? Hello. Hello. I can see the telly. Are we going to say anything? Hello. Yes, you're always in the picture, young lady. Yeah. <laughs> there we are. We're going to Uncle Bert's later. Ask Auntie Edie some more questions, sir. Huh? What shall I ask Auntie Edie? What questions would you like to answer, <coughs> Auntie Edie? <laughs> Do you get out much, Auntie Edie? Did you go out this week? Yes, yesterday all day. All day? Mm. How did you manage to stay out all day? Well, from about half past ten to um, two o'clock. And you go? Do you have your lunch out as well? Mm, sometimes. So whereabouts do you go? I've not been out today. I mean, where do you have where do you have your lunch? Um. Ooh, uh, sometimes I go in um, Bloomsbury Market. Oh, where'd you go? Mm. Mm. But you've got a friend across the road, haven't you? Do you go with them sometimes? And I go Friday's shopping mm. along the hypermarket. We have a cup of coffee. Oh yes, we went in there today. That's the cop people, mm -hmm. isn't it? Mm -hmm. Westwood I always call it Kingswood, I don't know why. It's Westwood, isn't it? <coughs> there. How's that then? Here we are. Hello, everybody. Auntie Edie sent her love. Yes. Yeah. We Wish you well. And Ashby and Lindsay and, and Vincent and, 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 and uh, all the girlfriends. Ron and Pat and uh, Lindsay and Oh dear. Ashley, Ashley Lindsay and Vincent. Vincent. And all the girls. And Ashley, they? yes. My Hope you're all well. We did see the video, couldn't we, over there? Auntie Edie did the fun run mm -hmm. this weekend for um, Sports Aid. <laughs> she did a trot round the block and back, oh, didn't you? Oh, I wonder if I was younger. Yes. Yeah. Mm. How old are you now, Auntie Edie? 81. 81. 81. I'll soon there. be 82. And she looks after herself and does everything. Puts me to shame. Mm -hmm. uh, well done. Oh, here we are. Look at that. This is Auntie Edith's oh, fun garden. All right, to see this. All right. There's the flowers. There we are. And she's got a nice little flat, uh, bird bath in the middle. And, of course, this, the tree there, the Copper Beach, is the name of Auntie Edie's house. Copper Beaches. Nice little bungalows Look across the road, very similar to what we are in now. Look how plain right. that is. 
That's lovely, isn't it? Oh, they're bright flower. There we are. <laughs> Behind yeah, the camera. Here's Auntie. There she is. Okay. I think you zoom in too much and go fuzzy down. Joanna's at the camera today. Yes, this is really, very, really, really. pretty light on the back window here on the door. I'd love it. I wonder if Lee, we could go through. I think the first time I see myself fully on that one, watching the TV at the same time. You put your eyes through that camera too long and go boss-eyed. There we are, Dad. There are. Yeah. Where's Auntie? Where's Aunt Edie gone? Because we've been married this, nearly this 25 is? years next year. Married to five years. Shall mm -hmm. so I look around the room? I think you'll find it'll be a bit dark. Soon. See, on black screen. That's all you've got. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You're not it's looking dark. through your camera. You're not seeing what you can see. Edith's lounge, where we're lounging again. We always seem to be tea? lounging here. We just had a nice cup of tea. There's us on the television. No, I know you can't <laughs> take a picture of yourself. Can. Right. <laughs> it's recording, Alan. It's recording what, without, now. What, without putting your thing on? Press, press that thing. Press it. Press it. Press it. Press it. Well, here we are in Auntie Ivy's lounge. Oh, Joanna, quick. Just Joanna walking across the camera. There's dear Uncle Bert sitting in the corner. He's chewing too. We're all chewing chocolate. <laughs> we're getting <laughs> the there we go, Ivy. Hi, Ron. Hi. All the family. It's a little bit dark in here. Look out. The cameraman's been given off a of, of chocolate bar. <laughs> Which you shouldn't have, I might add. Because <laughs> if you saw him in his bathing costume. Good for you, isn't it, Birdie? Like a walrus. <laughs> oh dear. A bit, a bit of cover in it now. We've just been watching the first part of the video. Right, right. We've had a good laugh. Come <laughs> 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 on, Bert! <laughs> As per usual, it's raining outside. <laughs> We've just had a nice big clap of thunder. So if the sun mm -hmm. does come out in half an hour, we'll try to get out into the What do you want to do? Just get together on there. Yes, come on, Uncle Bert. You come sit over here. Because oh, you've seen enough of me. And Joanna, she could sit down. Oh, and Joanna's not missing out. <laughs> Are you? Well, we know oh, she's there. Yeah. Yeah. More chocolate. No, thank you. She won't be tempted. I will, though. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, say hello. Hello. Stop you eating and say hello to uh, Ron and uh, hello. What's your Ron? The family. Right. All right. Lindsay, Alison, Vincent, Vincent Ashley. Ashley. It's <laughs> <laughs> a little bit in Adam's golf. But he didn't move his bars, bars. We enjoyed your t uh, recording that you sent home by Doug and Maureen. Had a laugh over it. And a cry. Yeah. Oh, the video of the wedding. Mm. That was nice, wasn't it? Mm. <coughs> a bit brighter there, they had some sunshine. <coughs> yes, if we could get some sunshine, we'd be alright. Yeah. But it's just... Um, We're having a rotten summer this year. One day so mm. far. Booming awful. <laughs> We listen closely, you hear the thunder. And if my voice sounds anything like it did on the other tape, then it might be Alan's stomach you hear. <laughs> you know, a week ago, we had a very hot day here, and I transplanted some beetroot and lettuce. Yes. Cool, blimey, it killed them all. Near enough. Killed it, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you got the sun. I've got to replant yeah, it. Yeah, it's too hot. It's too hot. Mm. Just that one day. It just burned mm. them. It's laying flat. Mm. Hmm. Pick the wrong time for well, it. I've never had anything like that go in the garden mm. before. 
Fish went one. to a lovely wedding three weeks ago, we did. Oh, yeah, oh, we what, did. What a posh affair um, it was. Sorry. Mm. Well, outskirts of London, wasn't it? Mm. What was the name? Mm. Uh, Col mm. Col Col Colston? Col Colston? Forget now. Um, Colston. Yeah. Oh, went off a posh wedding. Oh, what a reception. Oh, I tell you, I've never seen it. Did you wear your top hat, Uncle Dad? <laughs> <laughs> 70. Mm -hmm. <laughs> top hat. 70, obviously. Uh, 75 sat down. Oh, God, fellas, what a the feast mill. they put on. Really cool, what well, a happy feast. Mm. We all went stinky. up in this... Oh. Is it recording now? Yeah. Oh, I've lost the battery again. Carry on, Uncle Bert, yeah, sorry. Yeah, we lost ourselves on the way up, didn't we? Or John did. Yeah. And they were all on twin. You go this way. No, you don't. You go that, that way. way. Paul mm. John, I wonder. Um, <laughs> Worcester Park, wasn't it? Worcester Park, we went to. Yeah, yeah, I know that. Mm. Lovely place. A lovely point. Good and the traffic. Oh, and it was yeah. shocking up there. Mm. Really was. Mm. And I don't know how John kept his temper with all of them on to him. Oh, it was. And uh, what do you think? It had about 150 blooms. Uh, oh, they well, yeah. blown up the night before. Mm. And mm. every balloon and was every printed, balloon on, there there printed on it. Um, Jim and Sally. Jim and Sally. And the date. And married today. The date. Mm. And it, 150 balloons go, didn't they? And the photos that were taken. Those poor girls. It was a very. That you know, man was taking photos on a very nice day. It was well, it's cold, wasn't it? Two hours, wasn't it? Hours, wasn't and it? the grass was wet, and there's these bridesmaids and the bride sitting round on the wet grass, mm. having their photos taken. I, I really felt sorry for them. They, all, they were all bare up here, you know. The bridesmaids were, mm. and uh, the bride she only had a lace top on, you know. Mm. Her father mm. gave them a thousand quid. No. Scott, his oh, name is, wasn't it? Scott. Mm. Mm. Lo lovely people they are, aren't they? Yeah, very nice. Oh, we had a smashing mm. day. Yeah, uh, John came right to the bottom with the minibus. Uh, so up. all the walking we had to do was just down the road and in the bus. And uh, it worked out five pounds here, didn't it? It was about eleven for us, mm. wasn't it, in the bus? Mm. Mm. Oh, we had a smashing day. Yeah. That was three weeks last Saturday. Saturday. 3rd of um, May. Yeah. Let's have a pen round so we can get some new pictures. One pound is painted. Oh, no, six hours is painted. Half a bit. That's it. Yeah, that's one of our roses. Not very clear, is it? It's a bit dark in here, isn't it? Dark, yeah. Got a huh? picture of Alan taking the pictures instead. Oh, in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> this is the one I want here. That's the old soap one. Oops, Daisy. We've seen those pictures along the road. And, um, did you paint that? Yes. No. In a big furniture shop and they how much did we that? £14. £14. Pound. Pound. Rosemary. You paid about seven. I paid seven for that. Seven for that. Mm. Four for Ray. Right. Fourteen pound each. They go up, don't they? That's cock oh, no. too, isn't it? Mm. Well it's straightening a bit, doesn't it? Yeah, it's not a lot though. I think it's not a lot. Built the paint, I expect. Knocked it flying. There we are. Another one of mine's yard is just a bit too yeah, it's a bit dark, You can't it? see them. Oh, this is now yeah. a picture Mushy. of the Monkey's yeah. Tea Party. That's a Kramer residence. Well, that's <coughs> You knew Arthur Tubb, didn't you? Yeah. He's dead. He's dead, you know. Oh, oh dear. We do have some wonderful conversation. Mm. Yeah, I've gone to him, didn't I? This oh. is a bit brighter in here. The sun is no, trying to come out out of the outside. John was the uh, intelligent one. Yes, he was. Yeah. He always retired for his job, didn't he? We always exchange cards at Christmas time, John and us. And uh, the last Christmas card we had from him, he told us that Arthur had died all about a month before, hadn't Yeah, it? yeah. Oh, here was a stage, wasn't there? Mm. What was the one with everyone? But, um, uh, you stand there, a funny mouth, didn't it? Right, but while it was in there, he was I pan up here onto the wall, you can see another picture of the guy's painting, two holes there. It always surprises me that they live so long. Because they couldn't look after themselves, could they, people like no. that? No. And flowers. This is their little cottage. This is in the dining room. Stupid. He could read. The other room we were he in. Read. Is and he went to church regularly. Yeah, and through the, the door there, mm. you can go out. Oh no, he wasn't stupid. 
Worry. Tiny but little kitchen. Peculiar. I mean, there was something strange there because we place. used to see him sometimes out in the backyard. You can see that little garden. He used to go over the drain pipe and he'd be licking it, wouldn't he? Yeah. Oh, the conversation. I'm <laughs> 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 talking about someone yeah. probably so you don't know, you know anything about. Perhaps it don't say to his tongue, like, you know, on there. This is a lovely picture of Uncle Bert's azalea yeah, in his backyard. That is beautiful. Yeah. So we'll walk down through out into his garden. The bluebells looking rather nice. I'll take you down his backyard. I must remember there are some steps here. And that's the gooseberry bush. I don't know if you can remember gooseberries, Ron. But there's a gooseberry bush. I don't know whether it came from Bowen Grave Lane or not. Step yes, I know. I can see Cute. the step. And this is his lovely vegetable patch. Look at it. I bet there's not a weed in sight. Here he is. And the little radishes. Hold it. Lovely beans, yeah. It's been raining hard, as you know, here, and I've just put my head in the hedge. Well, got a whole row and row and row of beans, and I'll switch off now. I'll come and pan back for you. Right. Yeah, and there's our Bertie and Ivy in his back garden. It really does look quite pretty. The front porch. There we are, and I'll even zoom in for you so you can see them. Yeah. Yeah, that's a bit better. I think we've got a better picture now. See if you can find a weed in Uncle Bert's garden. Oh, I've already said that one. <laughs> right. And I'll take a picture of there. This is the back of the house. And it goes right, right up down. there. A little cottage. Very nice. There we are. There's my darling. <laughs> He's doing all the humping of all the video equipment. Look, that's what we have to we're hopeless at this. No, I suppose you've gathered that it's, by now. Yes, it's absolutely it's amateurish. Shall we have a look at the gooseberries then? See if we can pan round. Won't be too close. I'm afraid that will be a bit close. See if Alan can pick up a goosegob for you. Oh yes, there's some growing there. Another two or three weeks and they'll be worth picking. Uncle Bert used to go out into the gooseberry patch at Berengrave Lane and kill all the, what he called the loopers, little caterpillars, by hand. He loved that job. Well, Sally I'm enjoyed it, didn't you, Uncle Bert? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was saying, Uncle Bert, you enjoyed killing the caterpillars. Well, Pat and Ron, this is 1A City Way, Rochester. Rather noisy out here because we're on the main road. I'll come round, you'll see. We have a road at the back and a main road at the front. The beautiful road. When the blossom was out a few weeks back, really was terrific. And when we're indoors, we don't notice it so much. The garden is all fenced round. Come round to our garage. It's my little old Fiat in there. Lovely old car. And Alan's Cavalier. And we have a side entrance next door. Now, got a small piece of lawn here. Bedding plant. Alan does all the bedding. There's a lot of gardening here. Right, and then that's up the road. Really is a nice way. They all think I'm videoing them. We've got the top story to the house. That's Joanna's bedroom there, and that's the landing. Right, I'll walk up and show the front porch. And we've been at the flower pots out here, bringing salvias in quite nice. Now we do have a lovely rambling nose but of course it's been so cold here in fact I can feel a spot of rain already. A front porch here with some swing doors and then you can see me filming and a nice little pot of flowers in the corner there. But really 
actually it gets too dark to film indoors. We have a lovely hallway, that's the back gate there. I better go in before I get soaked. Right, this is going into the lounge. But as I said, it will be a bit dark. It's a nice lounge. Janice just had her birthday. So we're really spread with cards everywhere. And that's the fireplace, as you can see. The old TV. I'm afraid that chair really goes outside or in the old study. But candy light sitting in the sun. I'll pan down and you can see my little candy. That's candy. She always seems to sit down and have a scratch when anybody wants to film her. Candy! There we are. Sit! She's not close enough. Who's that then? Who's coming down the stairs? Oh, I think she heard Alan. So that's our lounge. I'll take you around. I'll show Joanna in the dining room. And then I'll quickly perhaps take a picture through the window. Because once more, as I say, the rain is coming down. There's our Joanna. Very busy doing her studies. She has to prepare a report, a project for history, and she's picked on Haley's Comet for this year, <laughs> which she finds boring, but she prepares it beautifully. And she's a very good writer. Oh, there we are. There's our candy sitting on her chair now. She likes that because the sun comes in there. Let me see if I can take you out here and you can have a look through the bench door. Right. And this is our back garden. Helen's been taking down some trees so you can see the big logs at the back there. Lovely old shed. They brought up from Aunt Ethel. They pulled it to pieces, him and Doug, and then put it together again. But it does need painting. We don't do a lot out here. Just get nice sunshine in the morning but then by the afternoon the sun has gone over and then it gets rather dark this bedding plant. oh that's candy barking at people going up the road and that's just panning round to our front lawn A lovely shower of daffodils and tulips. But I'm afraid they've uh, mostly faded away now. Alan's trying very hard to put climbers up the fence to hide it, and he's bought lots of apple trees and pear and plum and cherry.